Hey, I'm Dan Duncan with Alight Analytics, and today I'm gonna to take you through the basic map tool within Tableau. For any business with multiple locations, the map functionality provides a great way to break down your data at the geographic level. For the purposes of this video, I'm actually gonna use some publicly available data from right here in Kansas City. Kansas City has a great open data platform where you can find everything from historic preservation to census data. I like food, so for this video, I'm actually gonna use some local restaurant data. This is a list of all food establishments in Kansas City that have a food permit. Once we find the data we're looking for, we just hit export, select a file format, and that data is ours to use. So I've connected to my CSV in Tableau. First thing I'm gonna do is select facility zip and the number of records, which represents the number of restaurants. I'm then gonna go up to the show me menu and select fill maps. Just like that, we have our restaurants mapped out by zip code with a darker color to represent a higher concentration of restaurants within that area. When I hover my mouse over a zip code, I see the zip code and I see the number of records but I want that to say number of restaurants. So I'll go over to the tooltip and make a couple of quick adjustments. Much better. Now I wanna modify the formatting to make this map pop a little bit more. Tableau has its own built-in map, but I'm gonna use one of my favorite features in Tableau, which is the Mapbox integration. If you don't already have a Mapbox account, you can sign up for free at mapbox.com. Once you have an account, Mapbox allows you to create your own custom maps. But for today's video, I'm actually gonna use one of their preset styles. So once you're in Mapbox, all you have to do is copy this access token that you see here. Once I'm back in Tableau, I'll select the map menu and then go to Map Services. I'll add a new map, and you see Mapbox Map appears. To find the preset styles, we'll click on Classic. We'll name our style, and then we'll paste that access token. There are a number of preset styles to choose from, but I want something simple and understated. So I'm gonna go with the dark preset. Now I want my colors to better represent Kansas City. So I'm gonna edit colors in the legend and select a blue gradient. And there we have it. I took this map and used it in the dashboard you see here. I added a couple of parameters to the dashboard and set up some filters. The first allows you to select the cuisine of the restaurant you're looking for. I also went around the office and got some restaurant recommendations from the Alight team. If you'd like your recommendation, simply select yes. So let's say I'm meeting up with a friend for coffee after work. I know I'm gonna be in the 64108 area code and I'm looking for some recommendations. Looks like we've got a couple of great options here. We'll post the dashboard just below this video, so play around with it and feel free to support one of the local businesses you find. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the rest of our videos.